Hey friends, welcome to this Taylor Made Life with Melissa. I'm Melissa Taylor and I am making um, grain-free granola. And it is amazing. So I'm gonna share my recipe with you and here we go. So I've already added into this bowl, I have added two cups of dry coconut, one cup of walnuts, one cup of cashews chopped, and one cup of pumpkin seeds, and oh, almonds. I need one cup of almonds. And I get all of my raw organic nuts from Azure Standard. To make these just a little bit smaller um, because I don't like to get a big bite of the, the almond, the raw almond. I like it to be kind of smaller bites, um, kind of like the size of the um, pumpkin seeds. I kind of like all my nuts to be about the same size, so that's why I have the chopped walnuts and the chopped um, cashews. And it's not perfect. I'm just want to kind of cut them down a little bit. I just don't want a big, I just don't want a mouthful of almond only. Okay, so there is probably a half a cup. Oops and me making a mess. Well, about a half cup. I'm just kind of using my, this hand to guide it. Um, kind of keep it down. Because I'm putting some pressure on this side um, to get through those almonds without making a huge mess. And Azure Standard actually have priced out or raw organic and they really do have um, some of the best prices, especially on like the, um, the walnuts, the cashews. Um, so I don't order every month, I order maybe once or twice a year, maybe, well probably more like three or four times a year um, because it's not um, super convenient, um, in, in that, um, you kind of have to go by, you have to be a little bit more flexible with your schedule, and I work, and so it's difficult for me to be flexible with my schedule during the work week, so, um, okay. So there's another, there's a cup of almonds, and I've got... Almond flour, flaxseed meal, almond flour, 
flaxseed meal, coconut sugar, cinnamon, salt. I need chia seeds, flaxseed meal, and coconut sugar. Okay, and so what I do is I take all the little stuff and I will whisk it together with the liquid. Okay, so I need a tablespoon of almond flour. tablespoon of flax seed or flax me seed meal and what this is going to do is this is going to keep it all together when it's baking and make it more clumpy make it more clumpy coconut sugar I'm going to do two tablespoons of coconut sugar you can leave this out um, If you don't like that, chia seeds. I'm going to add one tablespoon of chia seeds and two teaspoons of cinnamon. And this cinnamon I love, the Ceylon, or Ceylon's uh, cinnamon. Get it from Azure. Okay. And then a fourth a teaspoon of salt, of um, Himalayan salt or sea salt. And then a teaspoon of vanilla. And, and then a third cup of uh, maple syrup, which is uh, all I think I really have, honestly. So I'm just going to put all of it in here. And I am going to save these containers because I have a maple tree out back. And I may try to tap some maple this winter. Okay, so I just stir this all together with the whisk. this away in the pantry I'm going to stir this mix this all around and I've already got the oven preheating to about I like it to slow cook so um, I have it at 250 and I'm gonna do it for about 50 minutes I don't like to bake it, I just like to make it crispy. So. Okay, and then I just pour this over it. This is what, this is the granola that I have. I eat about a, I eat about a half a cup of this with my um, smoothie. And it is just so good. 
see how it's just kind of covering all that. It's, you want to cover all of the coconut for sure. It's easiest to tell on the coconut because the coconut's so white um, that you can tell when it's covered. It's, it's easiest to tell when it's covered. Okay. Scrape all that goodness off the bottom and off the sides. There's not much of it, but okay. Now I have two parchment lined baking sheets. And I'm just going to put half of it on this sheet and spread it out. And then I'm going to put half on the other. Oh, this smells so good. And normally people eat granola, have they have, you know, oats with it, but um, I'm really trying to, uh, to eliminate grains right now, um, just because of some digestive issues. I'm experimenting with what my body likes. And sadly, my body does not seem to like grains. So, or like, you know, flour and, um, so, okay, so these are going in the oven, and I'm, put out, and I'm putting one up high, and one down low, and then I'll uh, stir them halfway through, and switch them, switch the shelves. Okay, so we're halfway through. Let me stir this one first. And the one thing with this is that it doesn't really stick right now because all the coconut oil is still really hot and melty, but as it cools, that's when it starts to stick together and um, and when the um, when that kind of meshes with the almond flour and the um, flax meal um, that's when you kind of get start getting the chunks of, of granola so it's not sticking together now and I'm okay with that. That's normal. Right now what we're doing is we're just kind of trying to brown, lightly brown it all. Because most of the nuts are raw in this. So um, I don't want raw nuts in my granola, so that we're just kind of slow roasting them. Okay, whoops. And then we'll set it for another uh, 25 minutes. Okay, this has been in here for a total of... Oh, look at how toasty. That's what we're looking for. I think we're done. These have been in here for 55 minutes at 250. So, okay. 
you can kind of see. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Okay, I'm gonna check back with you once they have, um, once it's cooled, and you'll see how it, how it looks at the end. So I am putting in the strawberries and the blueberries first. from either Aldi or Costco. I get it from either place, depending on where I'm at. And then we've got the kefir. It's organic. I'll put about a half a cup. And then about a half a cup of Greek yogurt. And I get plain, just plain Greek yogurt. That's about a half a cup or so. Okay. And then we do a tablespoon of flax oil and two tablespoons of sprouted flax seeds Two tablespoons of organic chia seeds. And I keep these in the fridge so they don't go rancid. Liquid stevia. And Then I also put black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of ground turmeric. And I usually buy this in bulk and I just keep filling up the old container. So we got a teaspoon of turmeric. Okay. Then we put the lid on. And if it's too thick, then I'll add some filtered water. Okay. I don't want it to be too runny.
So there we go. Okay, friends, so I wanted to show you what my granola ends up looking like. So I put it, it, it actually, um, I've actually had two or three servings of it. So everything that I made fills a half gallon container. Mm -hmm. 